the following meeting is held during the COVID-19 emergency declaration will be conducted as a virtual meeting in association or accordance with the Ohio's open meeting laws as amended by House Bill 404. The public may observe this meeting on YouTube and that will be at www.youtube.com, Cleveland City Council, or on Cleveland TV Channel 20, Spectrum Cable TV, as well as live streamed online at TV 20. For more information, go to Cleveland City Council's website, www.clevelandcitycouncil.org. Today, we'll be talking about the mayor's appointments. And we have in attendance council member, President Kevin Kelly and Mrs. Dolores Gray. And I'd like to open it up um, to Mrs. Um, uh, Valerie McCall. All right, thank you. Good morning, Chairman Jones, Council President Kelly, Councilwoman Gray, um, the team over there at city council and members who are all here um, for consideration for the mayor's appointment committee. Um, this morning, we have a total of nine um, appointments that we are seeking either a reappointment on or a new appointment um, for the following areas, the City Planning Commission, the City Landmarks Commission, and a Greater Cleveland Regional Transit Authority. Um, Mr. Chair, we try to ensure that as we are making recommendations for appointments that we look at the demographics of the entire board, the makeup, um, to make sure that we are presenting for um, members who are very diverse. As you know, um, I believe when Council President Kelly chaired this a while ago, when we had changes with the, um, you know, just different laws around residency, we try to ensure that all of the people we bring before you um, are Cleveland residents. There are some exceptions, but today everyone here that is being for your consideration are all residents of the city of Cleveland. So um, under city planning, we are looking at recommending Ms. Denise McCray Scott. Um, as a new appointee. Most of you know Denise, she has been very active in the community and was a long-term um, city uh, employee as well. Um, retired now and just wanna stay active in the community. In addition, under landmarks commissions, um, we have the following people for consideration of reappointment and or new appointment. Jonathan Bonazzi is a new appointment for a term ending 8-1-2025. Ray Tarasic Jr. is a reappointment for a term ending 8-1-2025. Michelle Anderson is a reappointment for a term ending 8-1-2025. Julie Trott Kelsey is a reappointment for a term ending 8-1-2025. And Bob Strickland is a reappointment for a term ending 8-1-2025. Under the Greater Cleveland Regional Transit Authority, we have Reverend Charles P. Lucas, who's also now the chair, president of the board of RTA for a reappointment for a term ending 3-1-2024. We have Luz Pellet, who's a reappointment for a term ending 3-1-2023. And then myself for a reappointment for a term ending 3-1-2023. Um, we have, I believe on here, both Director Freddie Collier um, as well as Don from uh, the City Landmarks Commission. If you have any questions in, regarding, you know, the engagement of the board members. Um, and then from RTA, um, Reverend Lucas is the board chair. So um, if he would like to make some remarks when we get to RTA, um, he can do that as well. So with that, um, Mr. Chair, I should state for some of these positions specifically under the City Landmarks Commission, um, they have to fit a certain category. So. You'll see people that are architects, attorneys, developers, and um, a real estate agent, because those are specific um, categories that they have to fulfill. Um, and so with that, Mr. Chair, I'll turn it back to you and the committee. Um, thank you, Valerie. I think you did a great job. Um, I wanna open it up as you've um, uh, put, uh, laid everything out from city planning to city landmarks commission all the way to the Greater Cleveland Regional Transit Authority. I do want to give um, uh, the members who are those who are new appointments an opportunity for a couple of words, talk a little bit about themselves and why they want to serve uh, or why they wish to serve and how will they can contribute to the board of the commission and what experience do they bring that can make a contribution to the board. 
Um, so I would love for them to have the opportunity, but if we have uh, commissioners of the boards who are uh, on this, we'd, we'd love to, to hear what they have to say and uh, talk a little bit about um, or, or provide a brief comment on the mission statement of the board or the commission. So we'll start with city planning. We have Hello. someone here who's the board chairman of city planning. Hello, Director Freddie Collier here with the City Planning Commission. How you doing, uh, Director? Council, good, excellent, excellent. That's good. That's good. So uh, first and foremost, many of you are very much familiar with the Cleveland Planning Commission and what we do. Uh, we are a seven member uh, body, uh, one appointed by City Council um, and the remainder appointed by the mayor. Uh, one of our tasks is to develop and guide the City of Cleveland's development efforts, working with yeah. local community groups and other organizations. In addition to that, uh, we also provide comprehensive planning and mapping services. We also work on uh, strategic planning in neighborhoods with residents. Uh, there's four prongs to civic uh, level planning, engagement, advocacy, regulation, and the actual process of planning. So we've been doing uh, quite a bit of work recently and um, it is absolutely necessary for us to have a full complement of commission members given the level of engagement and the level of activity that has happened and will continue to happen in our city uh, over the next uh, several years. Uh, we have quite a bit of projects and initiatives in the pipeline. And as many of you know, uh, our state of affairs from a social equity standpoint is one where uh, neighborhood and community engagement has been uh, key um, with respect to uh, public sector decision making. And uh, we believe that uh, Mrs. McCray will be a complement to ensuring that that tradition that we have continues. The Planning Commission is over 100 years old. I'm thankful to serve as the city's first African-American planning director. Uh, that is a distinction that I take very seriously and uh, will uh, do so in the absolute best of my ability uh, until my term or time is ended here at the city of Cleveland. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Director. I'd like to go over to um, our, um, we'd like to go to Mrs. Uh, Denise McRae, who's the new appointment. I'd love to, to, if you have a few words you wanna share with us about um, your excitement on, on being on the board and why you see yourself as being a great fit. Uh, thank you so much, Chairman, Councilman Jones, whom, whom I've known for a very, very long time, as well as some of the other members. Um, it is indeed an honor for me to serve on this board. Um, I've been a very active member of the Greater Cleveland Community of Cleveland, period. I'm a resident of Ward 7. Um, I also serve as a part-time lecturer at Cleveland State University, but I also serve on other boards and commissions. But this one in particular is very important to me because you're talking about the landscape of our city and the future of our city. And I'm very interested in that. And I hope that you um, all will welcome me because I will do my very best to serve as a great committee member. Thank you. And then I've opened it up the, the forum to um, uh, the members of the committee if, if they have any questions for Mrs. Uh, uh, Denise McCray. Okay, I'd like to um, ward uh, Councilman 13, Kevin Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just uh, want to welcome Ms. McCray. And I think she's a, a great choice for this board. And um, you know, this is, a, this is a tough board to serve on sometimes because sometimes those meetings go for a long time and uh, there's a lot of very important decisions to be made. So I just want to uh, thank you for accepting the weight of this of this very important board. So thank you very much and thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. And, and I do wanna add, um, if, I, if there's no uh, other hands, I do wanna add also that Mrs. McCray has uh, always been actively involved in the city of Cleveland. Um, and she has over 40 years of experience in government engagement and community engagement and private public sector. So, uh, if there's no unreadiness, uh, uh, we'll move on to the next one and we'll vote uh, on all of these at the end. 
And so if there's no unreadiness for Mrs. McCray, I'd like to move on to City Land Landmarks Commission. Do we have the commissioner here on that? Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm Don Pettit. I'm secretary of the Cleveland Landmarks Commission. We are the city's historic preservation board. Uh, we make recommendations to the city council for Cleveland landmarks and historic districts. And uh, as Chief McCall indicated, our board has a very diverse makeup. Uh, uh, composed of a variety of professional uh, slots, uh, uh, including architects, an attorney, a realtor, uh, and, and other design professionals. Uh, and as staff, I'm here to support the reappointment of all of our existing members. I think they bring uh, a, a, a lot to the commission. Uh, and I'm also happy to welcome our newest uh, appointee Jonathan Bonesi, who is an architect. Uh, you know, as a design review body, we we can never have enough architects on the commission. So I'm looking forward to meeting him, and 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 just want to indicate that we we support all of the appointees uh, that you're going to be talking to today. Thank you, Mr. Bonesi. Do you have any comments about yourself and um, and what? Uh and why you're wanting to serve on this committee? Yes, um, first I'd like to say thank you to both the chairman and all the council members for having me here today. Um, particularly though, my interest in landmarks um, comes from understanding that the history and um, importance of a city is often defined in its urban landscape. And it's very important to kind of foundationally maintain that because without a, a historic um, sector or historic buildings in an urban landscape, you can lose a sense of place and a sense of community and a sense of who you are. And um, particularly as someone who has traveled extensively, I feel that I bring to the table an understanding of how buildings and urban environments can really bring a community together, but also establish a kind of history and a timeliness in that community. So I hope to bring those skill sets and my knowledge on historical architecture um, to the committee and the commission. So thank you for having me this morning. Thank you. Is there any questions for uh, Mr. Bonesi from the committee? Uh, Ward uh, Councilman Brian Mooney, and then we'll have uh, Ward Councilman Brian uh, Anthony Bracatelli. And I don't see any other hands. Thank you. Mr. We'll go Chair. in that order. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So uh, I just was looking through everybody's resumes and you didn't have your address on yours, but she said at the beginning it was stated you live in Cleveland, but you, do you actually live in Cleveland? I do. I live directly in downtown Cleveland in, in the Playhouse Square District. Oh, did you just move there from Medina? Correct. So I am recently employed at Bowen and Associate Architects, correct, as correct. An architectural designer, and I moved here in September. But I would say as much as I've been in Medina, Cleveland has been a part of my life growing up extensively. Um, so I've always felt a part of the region. Okay, no, and, that's, and that's fine. I just was, was looking because I was just trying to find out. And, okay, so you live downtown. Thank you, that's all Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Um, Mooney. Mr. Anthony Bracatelli. Um, yes, uh, 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 thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, certainly uh, welcome, uh, Jonathan. Uh, um, great to see uh, young new talent um, coming onto these commissions and boards. Um, I actually have a quick question uh, for Don, um, if I can. Is, um, this says this is a new appointment. Is this replacing someone, Don, or is this a vacant seat that is uh, being filled? Uh, uh, Mr. Brancatelli, this is a uh uh, replacing an existing member. It's, it was an open position for a couple of years now. Uh, he is actually replacing Laura Bala, who had to resign from the commission a few years ago because she took a job with the city. Uh, her position was kind of an at-large position, and our recommendation was that we needed another architect on the commission, so we, we thought that he should fill that slot. Great. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Thank Mr. Chairman. 
Thank you, Councilman. I'd um, like to um, recognize uh, Council President Kevin Kelly. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I just want to take a minute again to just really uh, recognize the, um, the, the time commitment that this is and uh, really let you know that we appreciate those that are willing to, to step up and serve. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. President. If there's any unwillingness, un any unreadiness, we will move on to the next um, uh, reappointment of Mr. Raymond. Uh, and please forgive me if I uh, mispronounce your last name. I believe it's uh, Tara Suck Jr. Well, close, close enough, so it's Tara <laughs> Pronounce enough. it again. What is it? Tarasic. Think, think, think Tarasic. of Jurassic Park. I got you, Tarasic. <laughs> Raymond Tarasic Jr., please forgive me for messing up your name. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, why you wish to be reappointed? And, uh, and just tell us a little bit about how you've contributed uh, to this commission in the past and a little bit about your experience. Yes, Councilman, thank you very much. Uh, I am very excited for, uh, for the opportunity to be reappointed to this commission. Uh, I am the, uh, the lone attorney on this uh, commission, uh, working with uh, my fellow commission members who are uh, uh, mostly architects, uh, and I have uh, learned a great deal from them. Uh, I have been a, a resident of the downtown Cleveland neighborhood uh, for the last 12 years, uh, a transplant from the Youngstown area, but Cleveland is, uh, is now my home. And from the moment I got here, uh, I think there are some members on this call that uh, understand that I have, uh, I've tried to become very, very much involved in the city of Cleveland and in this new community that I call home now. Uh, it's been very exciting to work uh, on this commission over the last four years. Uh, it's been very exciting to have uh, an opportunity to work in preserving the historical nature of uh, a lot of our uh, uh, great neighborhoods in the, in the city of Cleveland. Uh, I also, uh, as a profession, I do work with a lot of our uh, clients that are uh, involved in real estate and a lot of the projects that they have had uh, within the city over the last uh, number of years. I know Councilman uh, uh, President Kelly, uh, Councilman McCormick, and even Director Collier, I've worked with in, in that respect with, our, with some of our clients uh, directly. But it has been a great honor to, to have been on this commission for the last uh, number of years. Uh, and uh, I am uh, very much appreciative of the opportunity to be reappointed. Well, thank you, um, Mr. Tarasic, um, for your contributions and your commitment in serving um, in the last four years. And um, we look forward, if, if it's uh, God's will, of uh, reappointing you. Uh, again, as the loan attorney on the, uh, did I hear that right? The loan attorney on the commission? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And and then if there is, if there's any comments, I have uh, uh, Carrie McCormick, War Three Council person. Carrie. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I'm not on this committee, but I appreciate you allowing me to say a few words. Um, two, one, I, I think there's some really great um, candidates that have been put forth today. So excited to see them coming forth to serve on the committee. I thank Chief McCall for her work on this. Um, but Chair, I just want to make one note. Um, <clears throat> we've been working really hard to ensure that the 20,000 residents of downtown Cleveland have better representation on boards and commissions throughout the city of Cleveland. They're a living, breathing community of residents uh, in the city of Cleveland. And I'm just glad to see that Ray um, and other downtown. We got disconnected from you. We did, we're not hearing you. I'm sorry, okay. Mr. Chair, can you hear me? I hear you now. I'll be very brief. I just for, I said, I think there's a lot of great candidates today. I wanna to thank Chief McCall and everybody else for the work putting into these candidates. Uh, but I just, I word three specific note. Um, it's just great to see more downtown residents uh, getting involved in boards and commissions at the city of Cleveland. This is something we've been talking about for a while. Mr. Chair, and as a uh, 20,000 uh, uh, person neighborhood, we want them to be involved in the community uh, and the decision making. So we're happy to see more downtown residents um, get involved and just want to vouch for the folks here today. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Councilman McCormick. Um, also, I want to recognize uh, the president of Cleveland City Council. Kevin Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I've known Ray for many years, and I think uh, he brings a lot uh, to uh, to this commission. And um, I really just want to thank him for his service, and I want to thank you for recognizing me, Mr. Chair. 
Thank, thank you, Mr. President. Um, if there is no unreadiness, we'll move on to the next um, appointment, which is Michelle Anderson. Uh, reappointment term ending, and she'll be reported, she'll be there to 8 1 2025. Mrs. Anderson, are you with us? Yes, I am. Thank you for this opportunity to speak and um, to tell you a little bit about myself. I have uh, been in Cleveland since 1983. I've always lived in this area. Um, and uh, in 1986, I joined Progressive Urban Real Estate to sell real estate in the city of Cleveland. Uh, part of what propelled me into my profession was my love of historic architecture and uh, the amazing historic architecture that uh, Cleveland has to offer. Um, I very much look forward to continue serving on this committee. Uh, it's been fascinating. It's been um, an, a very exciting journey and I look forward to the next uh, three years of um, being a part of the um, of preservation and the resurgence of these neighborhoods. Well, Ms. Ms. Michelle Anderson, we just thank you and appreciate your contributions of serving on the board in the past, and we look forward to your continued service. Uh, does any of the members have any questions at this time? I would like to, to recognize um, the president of Cleveland City Council, Kevin Kelly. Again, I just want to thank Michelle. Um, I've actually known Michelle for about probably 20 years now, I hate to say that. I mean, I don't get to say it, but it, I don't want to date myself, but um, look forward to uh, what she brings to the board. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to move on to uh, Julie Trot Hesley, a reappointment term for 8-1-2025. Mrs. Hesley, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and why you wish to uh, be reappointed and serve? Absolutely, it's high Z just for clarification, but that's okay. Um, not a problem. Um, I am a registered architect. Um, I have worked in the city and the region for the last 26 years uh, at doing architecture uh, in both renovation, restoration, and new construction. I've lived in the city of Cleveland in the Cadell neighborhood for the last 25 years and feel um, that, you know, I. I try to bring to the commission you know, both the, the heart of the neighborhood and the professional side uh, with all of our reviews. Is there, give me a second. Is there any members who may have a question, but before we, we go to the members, I wanna thank you for serving uh, in the city of Cleveland, being a resident of the city of Cleveland and spending your time to make Cleveland a better place as relates to um, the Landmarks Commission. Um, I would do like at this time to recognize uh, Ward 12 Councilperson Anthony Brancatelli. And then I also see the director has a comment, uh, Mr. Freddie Collier Jr. So we'll start with Freddie Collier Jr., the, the, uh, the, the person who is heading over planning, and then we'll move with uh, Anthony Brancatelli. Yes, I just want to uh, just say, uh, with respect to Ms. Trot, uh, she's been a phenomenal chair. And uh, many of you are familiar with the degree and magnitude of the decisions and how difficult they can be. I often say our boards and commissions are the meeting between the sandwich, you know, of community and, and large scale civic interests. And uh, Julie has uh, handled herself with the level of fortitude, empathy, and focus uh, unlike anything I've ever seen. So I just wanna uh, go on record, just stating that she's a solid uh, board chair and we're really uh, blessed to, to have her continue on. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman. Yeah, th uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I echo the director's uh, sentiments about Julie. She does a great job of uh, uh, running meetings and. Uh, um, she hasn't kicked me out of one yet, so that's a that's a good thing, I think. Um, um, but I, I also just wanted to go back and uh, thank uh, uh, Michelle for her service also. Um, we've gone back uh, years ago for days of uh, working on tax credit projects and uh, homeward projects and all kinds of housing before it was very fashionable, um, as uh, explosive as it became in our communities. But for the good work that she and others have been doing in the past, really setting the table for what we're seeing now. So. Um, Thank you to both of these uh, folks for stepping up. Thank you. 
Thank you, um, council person. I'd like to also recognize council president, Kevin Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, again, I just want to thank Julie. I know that these are tough decisions and sometimes chairing a, a committee of anything is difficult um, with, the, with the issues that you have to deal with. So I appreciate your service. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to move on to Robert Strickland for reappointment. I just want to take the time to say thank you, uh, Mr. Strickland, for serving uh, the Landmarks Commission. Uh, and uh, would you tell us a little bit about yourself? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's been my pleasure to be a member of the Landmarks Commission since 2014. Uh, I represent the development developer community on the Landmarks Commission. Uh, my career has been almost entirely uh, in the city of Cleveland, the uh, Northeast Ohio region as president of PCS, a regional construction management firm uh, headquartered in Cleveland. I retired in 2014 and my wife and I have in retirement focused on purchasing and redeveloping primarily historic homes within the Tremont, uh, Old Brooklyn and Clark Fulton neighborhoods. Uh, that's been extremely rewarding. Uh, we have a number of just fantastic tenants uh, within our multifamily residences. And uh, it's just a pleasure to be uh, able to add value to the historic neighborhoods in which we develop. Uh, so my participation on, on the commission, I enjoy very much. Uh, all of our commission members are, I think really dedicated to striking a balance between historic preservation but also recognizing the need and importance of uh, development within the historic communities within the city of Cleveland. And uh, so being able to contribute to striking that effective balance has been extremely rewarding. Looking forward to continue to serve. Thank you, Mr. Strickland. Is there any uh, questions um, or comments from my colleagues? I recognizing uh, President uh, Kevin Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Chair. It's um, evident by Mr. Strickland's comments, his passion and his, his love for the city. So I just want to thank you for your, for your willingness to serve. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, hearing no unreadiness uh, from City Land Banks Commission, we'll move on to the Greater Cleveland Regional Transit Authority. And uh, our first runner up here is Valerie J. McCall for reappointment for the term ending 3 1 2023. Mrs. McCall. Thank you, um, Councilman, uh, Council Chair um, Jones. Um, as most of you know, I've been very active on the RTA board um, since first being appointed in 2006, um, not just locally, but also nationally. Um, I had the opportunity to represent Cleveland and GCRTA as chair of the um, national board, American Public Transportation Association, which essentially is our industry's board for public transportation. And we are, we're the voice um, at AFTA that when you hear, as we're talking about the upcoming infrastructure bill that's gonna be going through Congress, you'll see AFTA quoted a lot in that. Um, several of our colleagues from agencies around um, the United States are now members of the Department of Transportation nationally. So it's good to know actual names and faces of people who represent um, um, RTA on a number of, of factors and also represent AFTA at that highest leadership uh, role. Um, and so um, I look forward to serving again. Um, again, very active. Um, and um, I think I've probably only missed, I generally miss one board meeting a year and that's when the mayor comes before city council. Other than that, I'm there. And I am serving as a resident. Um, I don't think Councilman uh, Griffin is on, but I, as you all know, I live in Ward 6. Thank you. Thank you, um, Ms. McCall. Is there any, uh, comments or questions for Mrs. McCall at this time? Se seeing none, I, I wanna just make the comment. We really appreciate the fact that you have served on RTA and, um, and have dedicated uh, uh, and made a commitment to service on behalf of the residents of uh, RTA in, in the region. We appreciate all the work that you do and we look forward to uh, uh, reappointing you uh, back to this committee. Uh, back to this um, authority. 
with that Thank being you. said, let's move on to uh, the next person of RTA, which is uh, another reappointment. All three of these are reappointments. Mrs. Luz Pellet. Would you like to tell us a little bit about who you are and why you would like to uh, be reappointed to serve and contribute to um, this authority. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, my name is Luz Peyo, and I'm a longtime resident of uh, Cleveland since, geez, the early 1990s, let's say. And, um, you know, I, uh, again, I served as a resident on the board who always wanted to um, dabble in public transportation, but never had the, um, I don't know the 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 skill set to master and navigate through our, our RTA system. Even though I've traveled extensively all over the world and had you know no issue getting on um, public transit there, but for some reason I, I always struggled here at home. I don't know why. And so then <laughs> I uh, I I have this appointment now, and it was it, it's been fascinating seeing uh, the growth within uh, RTA in terms of um, upgrading its infrastructure and technology has been amazing. And uh, from what we went through with, with just the little time that I've been on the board this past year to, to where we're at right now and where we're going. So I'm super excited about it. Uh, I'm also the uh, chairwoman uh, of the Ad Hoc Technology Committee, which I'm super excited about. And I, I, I appreciate this opportunity. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Um, if there's any question for uh, Luz, uh, I'm sorry, I keep mispronouncing that name. That's okay. <laughs> Say it again. Uh, Luz Peyo. Luz Peyo. Mm -hmm. Is there any questions for Luz Peyo? I see the council president, uh, Kevin Kelly, uh, is recognized. Thank you, Ms. Peyo. This is uh, public transportation is certainly a very important issue of the community right now. And we really need as many voices as possible speaking up for just how important this is. So I want to thank you for your willingness to do so. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. All right. Uh, the, the next uh, uh, distinguished gentleman uh, to be reappointed to the Greater Mr. Cleveland Mr. Chairman. Transit Authority. Yes. I'm yeah, sorry. Uh, I, I, this is Carrie. I raised my hand on that one. I apologize. No problem. We'll, 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 uh, you want to have uh, comments about Mrs. Luce Payo? Very briefly, uh, Mr. Chairman, I just yes, want to. Yes, Ms. Yes, go ahead. I, the chair recognize uh, uh, Councilman Carrie McCormick. Thank you. I just want to also vouch uh, for Luce and her, not only her role within RTA, but also uh, she is very involved in quite a few both neighborhood and civil rights organizations in the community. So she not only brings her life experience, her long time tenure as a city of Cleveland resident, but also a broad array of other experiences that I think enhance her um, abilities on the board. So I just wanted to chime in in support of her nomination as well. Thank you, Councilman McCormick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Um, seeing no other unreadiness, we'll move on to um, uh, Reverend Charles P. Lucas, reappointment term ending 3-1-2024. And um, uh, we welcome him. We thank him for his commitment and his service to this board. And we'd like to, to hear from you, distinguished gentlemen, about uh, why you would like to contribute and continue to serve. That's Reverend Charles Lucas. I can't hear you, Pastor. Can you hear me now? I hear you a little bit. It's okay, go ahead. You can hear me now, Chairman? I can hear you now. Great. Uh, good to see you, uh, my Chairman. And also, if you will permit a, uh, a little note here, I'm uh, the Reverend Dr. Charles Payne Lucas Jr., the Pastor Emeritus of St. James African Methodist Episcopal Church at 8401 Cedar Avenue. But I would like this, uh, a quick little hello to Council Person Gray for a special reason. Uh, unfortunately, 17 years ago, they found a tumor on my spine and I became a paraplegic. I've been in a wheelchair since. But my morning nurse has been Mrs. Patricia Trotter, who is the sister 
of Councilperson Gray. If it wasn't for her sister, I wouldn't be able to get together every day. So I just have to say hello to her today so that uh, you will know how much I love her sister. Uh, as you know, I have served as the uh, vice president of the board of trustees for the last three years. And then on the uh, last month, they elected me the president and chairperson for the board, which I feel is a great honor and I'm looking forward to uh, this term. As you know, we are working under a operating budget of more than $400 million a year. And we are thankfully been able to employ, even with what has been going on with the virus, 2,000, almost 400 employees. You find them as our bus rider, drivers, rather, the rail, the paratransit, the other paratransit are those that deal with the wheelchair and the uh, blind, et cetera. And then at our uh, installations at Triscuit and Hayden, and I would hope that every council person would visit our installation at 55th Street to see miles and miles of them putting together rail and buses every day. Uh, I'm very happy to serve along with people like Valerie McCall, who uh, served as our national president, and she gives such excellent advice. She's our senior member. She's not senior in age, but she is our senior member, and we count on her quite a bit. And then you just heard from Lutz, who has come in with some great enthusiastic uh, ideas, and we placed her as head of our new tech committee. Uh, I want to point out to the council persons something I think you would be interested in, and that is uh, the first thing I did during my administration was suggest a way to get people who are on paratransit to go and get their shots and be free of charge. And we were able to work it out, and the other day I got the latest figure that a thousand, almost 1,200 people have gone and gotten free shots on RTA. And I think that's wonderful because we are doing our best to get rid of this terrible, terrible virus. So I would love to serve again. We uh, have a uh, new CEO who's done an extra job of getting started. And we also have working right by her side, uh, Dr. Caver, who with that team and others. Uh, recently, uh, one of uh, your uh, workers uh, from the police department has been named as our police chief of uh, the uh, transit, uh, Ms. Jones. And uh, we are very delighted to have her aboard. And I had a long meeting with her uh, just Friday and she has some innovative ideas for the transit police. Um, also, we took another one of your workers with a minor who now is a part of our uh, executive staff as well. But I would very much like to serve my term out, but I can't do it unless I'm approved by council. I, I want to have a, a, a slight word about that. Uh, there is another reason that I have such joy in serving, and that is in 1958, Mayor Celebrezzi appointed my father, Charles P. Lucas Sr., as the first Afro-American member of the transit board, the forerunner of the RTA. But what was interesting is that in that nomination to city council, he needed one council person from the west side to vote for him. He was, he was elected each time by one vote. And when I was first nominated, and I thank Mayor Jackson for nominating me, they said, you don't have to come down to the meeting uh, because it's gonna be unanimous. And I said, no, I've gotta come to that meeting to hear unanimous because my dad came in every year with that one vote. But I also, what is so beautiful about that one vote, his vote, one vote, made Cleveland the first metropolitan city in the country to have airport to downtown rail service. And I was so honored to be there at the anniversary of that uh, installation the other day. But again, I don't want to talk too long, but you know, ministers, we have a tendency to go on a little bit. But I did want to let you know what is going on with RTA right now. Well, first, I'd like to, to thank you for your service. And certainly, God has blessed your family to serve. 
uh, in this capacity and your father. Uh, we appreciate uh, you, Mr. Chairman, uh, being there and, um, and, and making your voice present uh, and serving the citizens uh, of the greater Cleveland area as well as the citizens in Cleveland. We appreciate all the hard work you do. Uh, and we thank you also uh, for RTA working to get up to 2,000 people inoculated. Uh, we know that this virus is a very serious one uh, and uh, we really appreciate all the efforts that's being made by your leadership and by RTA. And uh, this chairman doesn't have any ready, unreadiness. I uh, really appreciate the work you do and uh, look forward to in any way uh, as a council, we could participate and be a part in assisting RTA and in, in the direction of being able to provide adequate service to all of its citizens. Thank you, um, Pastor Charles Lucas. Uh, I do want to recognize some of my colleagues who are here. Uh, I do want to recognize Councilman Ward 6, Blaine Griffin, and also I'd like to recognize uh, Council President Kevin Kelly. Thank you so much, Mr. Chair. I just wanted to put in a word for Reverend Dr. Charles Lucas. Reverend Lucas worked very, uh, he was the chair of the Community Relations Board when I had the privilege of being director there. I can tell you that it, there aren't many people that are the type of public servant Reverend Lucas uh, is. Reverend Lucas is um, committed. He's very thoughtful. He's very thorough in how he deliberates. And um, he has a, lar a long background in civil rights as the former president of the NAACP, well-regarded member of this community. Uh, so I had to jump on just to give a vote of confidence for Reverend Dr. Charles Lucas. Um, he's truly an asset for us on this board. So thank you, Dr. Lucas, for your willingness to serve. And thank you, Mr. Chair, for allowing me a moment to uh, speak on behalf of Reverend Dr. Charles Lucas. Thank you so much, Dr. Great. Great. Thank, yeah. thank you, Councilman Griffin, for your kind words. Uh, I'd like the chair recognizes uh, uh, President of Cleveland City Council, Councilman Kevin Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just want to join in those thanking uh, Reverend Lucas for everything he's done for the city. Appreciate your service and uh, pretty sure this one's going to be unanimous. So thank you. The chair seeing no other unreadiness, uh, would like to uh, say congratulations. I don't think there needs to be a vote taken in this um, unless there's any unreadiness or any cause to any motions. Uh, and not seeing any cause to motions or any unreadiness. Um, uh, congratulations to all of those who are, who are new and those who are being uh, appointed. Uh, may you continue your great works in helping the citizens of the city of Cleveland. And um, may God speed bless you all. And with that being said, we'll, we'll, we'll gavel close uh, to, to this session. Mr. Chair, real quick, did you already vote on all of the board members? All the board members is unanimous. Uh, There's been no unreadiness from any members. So I'm too late to speak so, on behalf of Valerie McCall. So I just. <laughs> oh, well, if, if Mr. Chairman, this, you know, I mean, um, I'm here. She is a Ward Chairman. 6 resident. I just wanted to give a vote of confidence for Chief McCall. She does a great job on the board and she's very advocate, a uh, very passionate advocate for uh, public transfer. So I just wanted to make sure I, did, I got that in, okay? Thank you, sir. Is, is there any other council members who might want to say anything before we close? Uh, I, do, seeing... um, I do, Joe. Uh, I don't know how to do the, the hand yet. So I'm like, That's okay. So, so uh, uh, the chair wanted... recognizes distinguished lady, Mrs. Gray from Ward 5. I just want to do a shout out to Pastor Child Lucas. I've been knowing him for a long time with my sister, um, uh, supporters and help aid taking care of him. And I think he will be, I hope that he will continue support and his leadership uh, with the residents of the, of, a, of the community for RTA. Thank, thank you, distinguished lady Ward 5, Miss Gray. Is there any other comments? Is there anyone else who would like thank to you very say much. something before we close? Yeah, this is, is Director Councilman, Collier. Is that Councilman Conwell? Oh, this is Fred Collier. I'd like to make a comment about uh, Chief Valerie McCall. Yes, go ahead, Mr. Collier. Yeah, I would just like to say, you know, I really appreciate uh, Valerie because this is not about just putting bodies in seats. It's not easy finding the right people to serve. 
And I just want to say hats off to my colleague and friend, Valerie McCall, uh, for the work that she's done to try to assemble uh, these bodies. Uh, this is not an easy task uh, because this is very tough work and it's, it's, it's not easy uh, identifying some of the caliber of individuals that we have you know, serving on these committees. So hats off to uh, my colleague. Thank you. Th thank you, Mr. Collier. Uh, with that being said, uh, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you.